All right, gents, just finished the gym, and I wasn't going to record a video today. But then I told myself, Ali, you can't leave them hanging for one day. Someone might make an excuse today and decide to be a fucking procrastinator. So hop on YouTube and record a video and slap people back into action. What I want to talk about today is the importance of showing up and not just showing up. A lot of us seem to celebrate just showing up. Showing up is the bare fucking minimum. What I want us to do is show up every single day and work our asses off. I want you to stand out from the competition. I want you to be the clear option. I want people to look at you and be like, man, this guy is just a fucking professional. How does he do it? Everything. His attention to detail, the way he carries himself, the way he dresses, the way he smells. He's a sharp speaker. His body language is excellent. I want people to walk away from an encounter with you feeling like, wow, that guy knows his shit. Whatever you're doing, whether you're a professional coder, whether you're a website designer, I don't give a fuck what you do. I want you to relay that professionalism. I want people to choose you over the competition. Showing up ain't enough. I want you to drown yourself in your craft. Drown every cell in your body. Be obsessed. Or be average, as Grant Cardone says. All in, balls deep. This is your future, man. And your commitment level will dictate the lifestyle that you live in the future. There's another way of putting it. Your grind style determines your lifestyle. If you're a part-timer, because a lot of guys are, they have a part-time mentality when it comes to their goals. When they feel great, they work on their goals. When they don't feel great, they don't. And this part-time mentality prevents them from attaining the goals that they desire. You could be up here in terms of the lifestyle and the accomplishments, but because of your part-time attitude, you end up living a life down here. And you know what? You resent yourself for it. You do. When you know you're not carrying your weight, when you know you're not showing up for yourself like you should be, that guilt just eats you alive. I don't have to say it. You can probably tell me down below in the comments. You probably have felt that before. You're like, man, I just, I just don't feel like I'm living up to my true potential. I'm not showing up, man. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. And if you're in a rut, get out of it quickly. I always talk about that. If you're in a rut, get out of it quickly. If you keep sitting down and analyzing why things aren't moving forward, you're going to continue to remain in that cycle. Stop analyzing. Start executing. The reason you're paralyzed is because you're analyzing. That's why they call it paralysis by analysis. Stop fucking analyzing, man. I wonder why my life isn't going to... Write down a few bullet points. I'm fat, I'm broke, whatever it is, and just attack each one of those. Ideally, starting with health. If your health is absolutely, you know, all over the place, you've got, you got to sort that out first. It all starts with health. But you don't need to come up with a genius methodology. No, man. If you're a fat bastard, stop eating as much and walk everywhere. Stop catching the bus. Walk. If it's a 40-minute walk, walk 40 minutes. But I don't want to wake up early. Well, then stay fat. Stay fat. I mean, come on, man. You want the benefits of being an entrepreneur. You want the benefits of having a great physique, but you don't want to do the work to get it. It's the work that provides you with that sweetness and that fulfillment. If I just gave you a Lamborghini and a Rolex, you'd be happy for the first few days, first few weeks, but then it will wear off and you'll almost feel guilty because you didn't do shit for it. You have no stories to reminisce. You can't talk about the broke days, the first car that you got and how shit it was and 
some of the fun experiences that you had going on a, a long road trip with the boys when the car broke down. And, you know, my first car didn't have any air conditioning. So when I was driving in the winter and the window would fog up, I'd have to wipe and drive at the same time just so that I could see what the fuck's in front of me. You know, it's the stories, man. And eventually when you get the Lambo, and I don't have one yet before anyone says, well, Ali, it's easy for you to say, where's your Lambo? I'm just giving you a uh, drawing a picture in your mind here. You need to work hard. You need to struggle for it. And that's where the sweetness will come. Forget Lamborghinis for a second. Anything that you've accomplished in life that you've struggled to achieve. You tell me down below, once you achieved it, whether it was an exam that you retook three times in a row, whatever it was, you tell me that once you finally attained that goal after repeated failures, how did that feel? It felt incredible, right? Because you struggled. So embrace the struggle, at least when you're suffering, when you're in pain, you know you're getting better. When you go to the gym, and I was in the gym today working out legs, and I had a long day. I was shattered. I've been up since early morning. But when you're suffering in the gym, you can conceptualize it. You can understand why you're in pain. And yet you still go to the gym several times a week seeking more and more pain. Why is that? Because you know with the pain, there will be growth. There will be progress. So treat your business in the same way, your studies in the same way. It sucks in the moment, but in the long run, it will be massively rewarding. Eliminate this mentality of just consumption. You're just on social media all the fucking time. Your attention span is worse than that of a goldfish, which it is for most human beings today. If you can't fucking lock your phone and put it away for an hour, you're not serious about your success. Now, if you're using your phone to make money, you're a content creator, whatever, you're in sales, fantastic. But if you're browsing endlessly, looking at porn and shit, social media, comparing your life to someone else's, well, you deserve being behind because you're not serious. If you really wanted to, you would. If you really wanted to, you would. Reasons or results. Don't give me this bullshit. Every excuse is the same. I don't care how fancy it sounds. It's a fucking excuse. It prevents you from moving forward. Someone else out there has done more coming from circumstances that were less favorable than yours. So don't give me that bullshit. Show up, man. Show up and put in a fucking shift. Work hard. The harder you work, the luckier you get, as they say. It's not rocket science. Thanks for watching. Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Peace.